Hello, my name is Thane Simmons and I'm with Turk Application Support and welcome to another video in our how-to series. Today, today we'll be looking at how to download the bootloader and firmware onto your Turk I.O. device. Uh, for most applications, you won't actually be needing to download the bootloader since it's for older Turk devices when moving from Web Server 1.0 to Web Server 2.0. Um, but all the same, you do need to download the bootloader first uh, before updating the firmware uh, if you are doing the bootloader. Um, so the first thing that you'll be doing is opening up Pactware. I already have mine open. Um, and if you don't already have Pactware downloaded and set up, um, you'll want to uh, check our, our other video on how to get your Pactware set up. So in this case, um, the first thing we're going to do is do add device. And since I'll be updating a, an 8 IOL block, um, it'll be communicating uh, via Ethernet. So I'll be using the VL service Ethernet. Um, again, most of, your, most of our Turk devices are going to use this VL service Ethernet. Um, so that, that's what we're running with today. <clears throat> All right. So once we have it up, we can just go ahead and double click on it. Um, and then once we get here, uh, you'll want to make sure that this drop down is set to um, using the right port basically to search for your device. In my case, I know that mine is connected via my Ethernet adapter at IP address.250. So that's what mine is. Um, and once you have the correct option selected, uh, you'll want to click on the eyeball to search for your device. And again, as I said previously, I'm looking at an 8 IOL. Um, and so uh, once we're here, we're going to go ahead and select it. And then these, these icons light up and the, uh, in order to download the firmware and the bootloader, um, they're, they're both done through this firmware download button. It looks like a funny little computer chip. So uh, we go ahead and click on that, navigate to wherever your, um, your firmware is saved. And again, uh, we're starting with the bootloader, so uh, we're going to go ahead and select it and click open. But uh, before we do, the first, uh, you'll want to make sure that all of your connections are secure but for both uh, communication and power um, because in the event of a communication loss or a power cycle during the firmware update, um, it could turn your uh, Turk device into a brick, which we don't want. So again, double check all of those connections are secure and then go ahead and click open. <clears throat> so it's going to take a little bit uh, for it to verify that it can and should download um, to the device that you're connected to. And then you'll see this uh, green bar at the bottom uh, progress until it's done. So in this case, it, does, it shouldn't take too long. And if everything goes to plan, it'll say firmware downloaded successful or succeeded rather. So uh, once you have the bootloader uh, set up, we're going to just want to go ahead and refresh the search. Um, and then click on it again and again since the firmware is the same as uh, the same as downloading uh, bootloader we just go ahead and click on that firmware download and then we select the version of the firmware that we want to push onto our device and again same thing we click open again it will take a little bit to verify that it can can and should in fact write this um, firmware to the device that it's connected to um, in fact where there are plenty of safeguards in place so that you really um, shouldn't brick your device by pushing the wrong firmware to it. it there are there are safeguards in place. Um, and for this device, the firmware is a little larger and takes a little longer uh, to download, but it's getting there. <clears throat> and again, uh, an important reason to make sure that your connections are secure is because again, this takes so long, it can be easy to um, accidentally jiggle it if it's not, uh, properly secured, causing communication loss or power loss, and then um, you're stuck with a heavy, uh, an expensive paperweight. And looks like everything uh, went, went off with uh, great success. So firmware download, download succeeded, and here we are. Um, so that's how you download a new firmware version or bootloader onto your Turk IO device. Uh, thanks again for watching, and hope you have a great day.